In the build-up to the win of Godwin Obaseki in a do state, hashtag a do no be Lagos trends on social media. And will PDP get the same win in Ondo State? This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladende. Welcome to Plots Politics. Shortly after Godwin Obaseki was announced as the winner of the Edo governorship election, the Nigerian social media space became awash with hashtag Edo no be Lagos tweet, noting that Edo State would not follow Lagos on the path of being ruled by Godfatherism. In a similar faction, the Lagos chapter of the PDP urged Lagosians to reject Godfatherism and choose the PDP in the next election. Joining us to discuss this is the Publicity Secretary of Lagos State, Taufik Ghani. Oh, that's our PDP. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good, good to have you. I must say that uh, it takes a whole lot for you to drive down to be part of this show. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And joining us virtually is um, Olushoga Oweye, who is an APC strategist. Good evening, Mr. Oweye. I hope I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, I, I will come to you in a bit. Let me start with... Uh, oh, good. Okay, let me start with uh, Taufik Ghani. Interestingly, uh, that statement seems to have emanated from you as much as it started from uh, the social media. But I read your press release and where you were urging Lagos and you jump into the fray to say that it is time for PDP to, you know, consolidate on what happened in a do state. But people will say that uh, there were two different situations. What do you think will make people to choose PDP at this time, if, when they've not chosen you in the last 20 years? Expressly, what we did after the announcement of the Edo uh, governorship election, which declared the PDP Obaseki as a winner, was to congratulate Edo PDP. Uh, our family members, and indeed, Edolites. Uh, we, we did not emphasize on Edonobi Lagos, not in that context. Our definition coming out of that election is that Lagosians must reject exploitation, they must reject imposition, they must re reject misgovernance, and indeed, all the characteristics of discontentment that we can make up of are what we have in Lagos State as of now. And there's no, there's no, there's no controverting that because even within the APC system, you will see that they are so much disenchanted with what is happening even in the party. And that's reflected in Edo. That is going to reflect in Ondo. It is a definite thing. For now, the only thing that is going to disturb us is for PDP not to participate in any election again in Lagos State. Everything now points to the fact that we are winning all elections. Even the elections that will be conducted by the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission, talking about local government elections, we go into it free, fair, credibly. We are going to win APC and that. APC... I mean, without... So, you have to actually wait for a APC to have internal crisis before the people of Lagos will accept. Is that what you're saying? No, it's part of the game. If, if you have a boxer, a more experienced boxer might just take you around the ring, get you tired, and then begin to punch you. It's part of the game. What we have done is that we have not kept silent in the areas of punctuating, I mean, puncturing the APC misgovernance, exposing the APC's uh, inadequacies. And let me tell you, just like you may have in the PDP, those who are not really as progressive, you have a lot of far progressive in the APC that are not in line 
in tune with what is happening in the APC. And these are the people who have also become our own asset now going into the elections. Because they are going to make sure that, because they, they, they of course, many of them are indeed Lagosians okay. by way of real definition of being a Lagosian. And so they know that their own state is bleeding. Somebody is sitting on the neck. Okay. Uh, uh, and you're almost sounding like the strategist this time around. But let me also listen to ABC strategies. Uh, do you foresee any form of um, danger to APC Lagos, judging from what happened in Edo State? Mr. Way. Mr. Way, can you hear yes, me? Yes, thank you. I, I mean, PDP. I said, I'm surprised to hear that there's PDP in Lagos. Is that the PR of PDP in Lagos? I'm sure you're not asking me. No, I want to know because there's no PDP in Lagos as far as I'm concerned. The, the, the party is disorganized, disoriented, and confused. Why, why are we going to be talking? If you're going to discuss serious matter here, let nobody just come and say, I'm PDP in Lagos, and we are going to take Lagos. Who is going to take Lagos from the uh, APC? We are talking about serious matter. We are talking about organized, organized political party. We are talking about serious political party. And today, you are, uh, I'm hearing for the first time in almost a year, that there's a political party in Lagos that calls itself PDP. It's already depleted. The organization is... Okay, is, is that your strategy? The people that you have in PDP now, I'm happy you saying it through there, yeah, that... No, it's not a strategy. What I'm saying is arresting in Lagos. You must be an organization. You must, you must be a serious set of people. He said, yeah, but look at him. He said that... Uh, they have progressive among among them, which means they know that they are not even a progressive organization. They only have progressives among them. That's what he said by the word, and that uh, they are going to push these progressive people to come and do one thing or the other. So the issue is that until they have a serious political party in Lagos, okay, nobody is going to take that seriously. He's talking about uh, we are Lagos people. And uh, we are going to use Lagos people to contest. Those are the divisive and serious statements that they keep saying every four, four years. Okay. We are, if we are going to debate Lagos here, please, let us debate on the basis of issues with this party that is very, very okay, serious can we, and that is on ground. Okay, I, I just hope that we will stay on issues and avoid the... Uh, <laughs> Name calling. So let me go straight to the issue, one of the issues now that I think I asked you. Probably I need to reiterate it. I'm saying that there was a lot of tantrums thrown at um, the national leader and the fallout of the Edo election. I'm saying that it, would, would this in any way affect the fortunes of APC being in power since they have been there since 1999? If you can answer that. So if you want to take PDP out of the equation, so can you respond okay. to that? Yes, I can answer that appropriately. Go ahead. Yes, let's just... Now, as you argue, Sinobu is the leader of Democrats in Nigeria, not in Lagos. And losing an election as a Democrat is not a big deal. It's not as if the person is dead. He has been buried. He is the leader of... Democrats in Nigeria, he has set the feet when he loses, and he has, he has won as many elections in, in this country as, as any, any anybody. So of the APC, so his political party lost election in Edo, and we are so happy that the entire that the, the entire ecosystem of the opposition in Nigeria are jubilating. If you have a man, one man who is able to generate that kind of emotion in the whole country. That is not a small man. APC lost election in Edo, the entire opposition ecosystem okay. has been jubilated and been dancing all over the country. <laughs> Why? Okay. Because the man they are contesting with, 
You okay. Say intelligence uh, is powerful, it's highly connected. Okay. Thank and it's the most credible Democrat you have in Nigeria. So, okay, let me for let me them to contest against his party. It's even a plus for them. Olushaga, I will I will so come back to you soon. Anybody can throw tantrums. We are enjoying the tantrum. We are not bothered about it. Okay, good. We lost in a do. Fine. We have won several elections. Okay, thank you so much. I will come back to you. Uh, just hold, hold your thought for some time. But let's look at um, the issue he has raised, not the personality now. The issue he has raised. He has said that we had an article who endorsed uh, uh, Godwin Obaseki. We had a wiki who endorsed uh, Godwin Obaseki. Why were there so much hue and cry about the endorsement of Ashiwaju and it led to a whole lot of um, hashtag? a lot of tantrums, and even PDP are releasing statements to say it contributed to the failure. Let, let, let me say for, for clarity that, that I never mentioned that the, the PDP uh, does not have uh, uh, progressive. Rather, I was saying that the few members of APC who are progressives are indeed the ones who are now agitating now that they must have true governance government of the people of the, uh, of the uh, government of the people by the people and for the people and that was actually reflected in uh, in edo but i want to give it that perhaps he didn't hear well because of the uh, telephone uh, uh, communication uh, let me tell you that there are two different things we must distinguish the godfatherism in the context that every nigeria has come to see it did even beyond nigeria and what happens as it happens in the apc by the wing of APC, which I am so convinced he is part of them, and misleading the man whose name has now become uh, the, 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 the joking stock of everybody now. What happens in the APC is that a man sits somewhere and then tells every other person that has not been going to him for godfatherism uh, uh, blessing, not to even go collect from at all, to want to context. In the PDP, what you have is that leaders, elders, will come and say that we can use this person, we can use this person. If you have five interested, the five of you will have different leaders and elders who can say that I can vouch for you. And then you go to the primary. Look at what we did. In the Lagos PDP uh, uh, primary, going into for the for the by election, by election. Lagos East Central by election that will come up on the 31st October. We allowed everybody. Four of them went into the primary. And it was just a fun day for us. It was, it's different from a situation where you tell others who have been in the party for years and the rest and then you say, don't go and collect from because this is the person that I want to be that. Uh, uh, official or that uh, elected Candidate. person. So we, the, the, the thing here is not the godfatherism as even propounded in the two elections. In the Lagos one, the context here is that people are fed up of getting the persons who they eventually see as serving only a man or a carcass or the party. And we, 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 we so much confirm that when for the sake of this discussion, I am going to say it that right from 1999, the best governor in Lagos State has been only is, 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 is uh, Ambody. And you need to see the fact speaks for itself. You understand? But this man, Ambody, the only reason, which is the most popular, that APC did not allow him return for a second term, was that he never served the elders, the leaders of the party. In fact, they said it in the public. They made it open. The government's advice council came to say that he was not giving them returns. And this man came out and read out, the, I stay in Oshodi. My own local government is Oshodi. That's where I play the politics from, Oshodi, Solo, local government area. The Oshodi, Solo, that we used to have, changed. It, it was so, it was the, the, the development was such that he even started developing federal government rules. You understand? That they never... Talking from the time of Tinubu, um, Fajola, uh, they never even touched. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that the PDP, you understand, will not, for obvious reasons, say that we will support. 
But the area that we are talking of is that you will allow every other person to go and pass. God is not going to say that because he's omnipotent. He knows everything as well. God is not going to say that because he knows that you go to hell eventually. He will just kill you or just say, go to hell. No, he will still allow you to go and fulfill his promises okay. in your life. <laughs> Interesting. This is uh, Alaji Pastor <laughs> Taufik. But let me go to Olushoga. Now, he, he has brought up something, and uh, as much as I'm trying to avoid name calling, but he has brought up an argument which seems to be what generated this uh, Don't Know Be Lagos uh, hashtag. And that has to do with the fact that maybe the kind of treatment that was given to Ambody uh, is what they try to do in. In, uh, in a dose state. And history seems not to favor such treatment. You remember what happened in uh, Akwaibom when Akwaibom didn't want uh, Udom to come back. You remember what happened in Anambra, but it happened in Lagos. And the Edo people say it will not happen in, uh, 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 in a dose state. And that is what they are saying now, that uh, the treatment given to Ambody was the albatross. Can you explain that? Do you agree with that uh, idea? That Godfather's situation You want to speak about that? Hello? Please speak up. I can hear you. Now, what what we are what are we saying is that the issue in a two complicated is what you do with Whatever you call the fact all the one and two. It is to start certain godfathers are successful. Some are not okay can you move uh, move, move close to the phone so that we can hear you very well sir. So we can hear you clearly. Can you just speak louder? Uh, can you speak? Uh, can you speak up? This is the network. What I'm saying is that okay. the issue of the door, the issue in the door, is, what the issue is, as you are doing, as you are doing, as you are doing, as you are doing. Can you try your best to change your location? Uh, please, um, I will call you back. I will try to allow you to finish your thoughts, if you can change your location, because the viewers need to hear you clearly. Mr. Lushaga, please, if you can do that, I, I would truly appreciate. OK, let's just um, look at why people feel that um, PDP is just daydreaming in terms of what structure? And it started with such sarcasm at the beginning. That what structure do you have? Um, have you come close to? Because it appears the fortunes of PDP is dropping after every four election. I mean, after every four years. Looking at the performance the last time, even why people are here to even understand what happened. Your candidate has already congratulated the APC candidate. So, how do you just come? from the blues, you know, to take over the Lagos state. Yeah, we're talking about that election that is coming. Uh, is it, you put is the past behind have, you? I have, I did, indeed. We, we don't chase shadows. Bygone is bygone, as it is usually said. And let me let you know that I have deliberately not go into that area, especially when he uh, brought it up. It, it only shows again the arrogance the same thing which was number one for their reason to lose Edo is what they still doing again in, uh, they started to do in Lagos. Just arrogance. Thinking that Edo people will not be able to decide for themselves. Again, bringing it back to Lagos, reiterating that Lagosians cannot decide. Where I, I, I don't, is PDP even in Lagos? which is even embarrassing unless anybody would take it that, yes, it's just being a mockery. I mean, how will you say that the PDP is not? PDP remains, even in opposition today, remains the largest party. It has spread more than even APC. 
that is in government as we speak in this country. And the statistics is there, and that is why most times they are very bereft of information. Now, Lagos PDP is going to keep the gunpowder dry. I'm not going to tell you anything here. But what I can tell you is what is obvious, that is anybody in Nigeria, and I'll come back to Lagos, comfortable with what we have now? Are you a businessman? Are you even the man who goes all around and play and then begs? He's not even happy again because he doesn't see anything to beg again. Nobody, 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 <laughs> no, they, even the robbers. I was reading on WhatsApp, the joke, the robbers, they don't even get anything to steal. And they will never get anything. Amen. <laughs> well, I say amen to that. So it just shows to you the reflection. It is, it is not only because there was godfatherism in Edo. The Edo people would ordinarily not vote for anybody that has the semblance of APC. In Lagos, it is worse. Tell me in Lagos what the average voter in Lagos is enjoying. And for record purpose, but they for kept, the sake but of... But they kept voting five times. They have never, and that is where I'm going. For record purpose, let it be clear that the APC has never won elections. And that is why I have told you that we are going to keep but our gunpowder dry. We have them. never accepted. If an the, 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 the constitution is even clear on who you go to vote for, you go for, to vote for a political party. party. Not that if an individual, for whatever reason, maybe because of his own meekness or whatever, things that let me congratulate. It doesn't. We went to court eventually. You know, it doesn't take away the fact that there was. Stealing, but, but the I will not say rigging. But the court stealing did not of in, invalid, invalid the mandate of the people. They did not invalidate the outcome of the election. It doesn't matter. It doesn't you matter. You are a lawyer. Because I am a lawyer, and I are you indicting you your one, constituency? One of one of one of the worst areas that we have in the legal profession is election petition. You understand? The, any good lawyer okay, will tell you. The problem is with the electoral law. Electoral law, the procedure, everything. Any good lawyer will tell you that. For you to be able to prove that somebody has won or lost elections, you probably also need the sentiments of those who will be sitting on the panel. Hmm. It is not going to be a clear case. I mean, there are two different things where persons will not have certificates, will not have this, will not have that. Even when they did not have certificates, are we not, uh, well, are we not alive? Is the matter still not pending in the court? A criminal case does not expire. Even those who, who initiated it, they, they, they are dead. We all still remember the late Chief Ganifa Oemi. We know, we remember what he pursued till his death. You understand? They became second time governor. They want to be president. Okay. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So, so it means, it means that, it means that it's not even about what you have or the acceptance by the people. That area is what has been punctured, and this is the area of emphasis. This way has been punctured by the okay. PDP and Since the people of Edo fairness, let me in Edo, Edo, Edo State. So, henceforth, right from Saturday, any election in Nigeria now must be free, fair, credible. If the PDP loses election that is free, fair, credible, we will be the first to congratulate. And we are the ones that have the record. God, President Goodluck Jonathan. President Goodluck Jonathan, and that's why he's enjoying the encomium now worldwide. He phoned to congratulate President Buhari but even now, before the now, final announcement now was made. Are, now you're attaching an individual to the party. The other time you said an individual chose to congratulate, but the party did not accept which the is result. Still, which is still a good sign okay. of Omoluabi. <laughs> okay, well, I, I understand that uh, the network is pretty bad. We are unable to get Olu Sugar. Uh, this conversation might have to be revisited so that we also listen to APC. But staying with you, um, for the purpose of, I don't like using that word, but I'm going to play the devil's advocate now to look okay. at the argument of APC. Now, as far as APC is concerned, it is not wrong to have leaders. They don't use the word get father. It is not wrong to say there are leaders. And uh, I don't think PDP will also shy away from that concept of Godfatherism, which uh, seems to be like what you are playing on. But I'm saying that if APC choose to stay united, they choose to stay together, 
What is other strategy? Or you still want to keep your gun dry? There is no god fundraising in PDP. I will retreat it. You can There's have no god mentor. fundraising in PDP. You can have mentor. You can have leader. You can have uh, now, I need elder. a bit of education and here. What's the difference? Uh, good. The context that has become the crown on Godfatherism has started and now endorsed by the APC is that everybody, even a councillor, knows that if you're contesting as far as Sokoto, unless you are a rebel in the party, you must find your way to Bodilon to get the Don't you also find support. your way to Lugard too? There are two different things. As I speak to you, I now challenge you. God, I, want to be I challenge you to tell me because you have been a very, very professional and very competent politics reporter since I got to know you. I want you to tell me from when you have been covering I'm not the one politics, that will answer your question. Yes, yes, but it might be rhetorical. I will answer it again. Okay. I will then I can eventually answer it. Tell me when you ever notice. Right from councillorship ward primary to our presidential primary, tell me when you ever noticed that the PDP imposed to the extent that even people will be told not to participate in the elections and monies will be refunded or they will not even be allowed to, uh, to get the funds. This latest one is a very good example. The man who is coming to represent the APC in the Lagos Senatorial District is at the pinnacle of a job in a bank. He was pulled out to come and grab the ticket of the APC, telling over five other persons not to participate. That is their own problem, not okay. to consign the PDP. In the PDP, we had very good, well covered the media food. But the constitution and allows the, consensus candidates. The, which Both your party and the APC allow consensus candidate, which is, is what the candidate emerge through. It's about facts and the intrigue. The fact is that people were not allowed to participate. And when you talk of consensus, consensus may not also be in the definition of that, eventually one man must come out. That's why I told you that the mentors, the leaders, the elders, they can have okay. somebody in mind that they want to support, but they will like every other person to participate so that we can give to the people okay. reasons to check. Okay. The, 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 the delegates are also important in who eventually become the candidate. It's not just for anybody to just sit down. Some see, let me tell you. You don't have that time now. I think your point is well made, and uh, you have so much opportunity to actually ad advance your cause. Uh, it's unfortunate we are not able to reconnect with uh, Olu Shoga, away, uh, who is meant to respond to some of the issues Mr. Taufik Ghani has raised. Unfortunately, I'm not a member of APC, so it's not my job to do all the defense. So sorry, we are not able to do that. But let's hope there will be opportunity for us to have their own say. Thank you for taking your time to come. Thank and, you for uh, having me. We wish you all the best. Yeah, it's time to take a short break. And when we return, the rhetoric of Wando State election is up for discussion. Please don't go anywhere. <music>